Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Secretary Yellen, you've heard from both Senator Wyden and me today about the significant pain Americans are suffering because of inflation that has accelerated and become broad-based following the enactment of the American Rescue Plan last year. Democrats are claiming that Republicans are trying to raise taxes. Nothing could be further from the truth, when the reality is that as we speak, the Democrats are trying to negotiate a new massive plan that would raise taxes significantly. Do you believe that it would be prudent fiscal policy to increase taxes or engage in more stimulus spending with an economy facing the prospects of stagflation? Um, Senator Crapo, thank you for that question. Um, as I indicated in my response to Senator Wyden, I believe there's a lot that Congress can do to ease the cost burdens that households are experiencing. Um, with respect to energy, the uh, administration has done everything that they can to bring down energy costs, for example, through um, an historic release um, of a million barrels a day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve and um, energy prices, gas prices, while very high, have risen a lot. They would be higher without that. But um, Putin's war in Ukraine is having impacts on energy and food prices globally. We're not the only country that's experiencing inflation. You can see that in virtually every developed country around the world, what Congress can do and what the Biden administration would like to see is um, investments in programs like lowering prescription drug costs, investing in clean energy and renewables that would free our dependence on uh, global oil markets, which are subject to geopolitical risk and could bring down utility bills, affordable housing, uh, help for uh, child care expenses that would um, enable higher labor force participation, um, medical costs. And these are ways that um, th the Congress and the administration can address, um, bring down some of the costs that households face. And it's appropriate to pay for it or more than pay for it to have deficit reduction. We're supportive of deficit reduction and think that um, asking high-income taxpayers and corporations to pay their fair share is the right way to finance those investments. No, and what I heard fair. you say is that it is okay to raise taxes right now and that it is proper to have more stimulus spending to deal with this crisis. I just have to say I disagree with you on that. 